Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting again. Oh yeah. So we're painting with watercolours today and I'm going to be painting my fish that I got. Um, that's turned out, I think, I, when I got him, her. <laughs> it's definitely a her. I got Batgirl, Batgirl Platy, pregnant. And uh, that gave me a bit of a surprise one morning when there was a fry in the tank. <laughs> Oops. So anyway, let's have a go at painting this. Over to the other angle. Okay, so I've got my uh, hot chocolate on the go. <laughs> And this is the picture we're going to be using as reference. So, I've got a couple of the Harlequin Rasboras in the background. <laughs> and it took me a while to get a decent photo, actually, because uh, they're so fast, zipping around the tank, you uh, struggle to get a good shot. But uh, I put on a lens that's a bit more open, so I managed to get something. So we're going to use that. And I'll start by measuring the body. We use my measuring tool now. <laughs> it's quicker than the ruler. Why didn't I use one of these ages ago? I don't know. So I'm just going to get a little bit of... Um, might just get a little bit of black. So here's my palette of watercolours. <laughs> it's actually a plate. Yeah, plate. I'll do. What we want to do is just create the base of the the fish and then we can put the colours that we want on the top. No worries. Might throw a bit of that yellow in. Yeah, that's probably a better idea. Right, let's uh, let's have a go at this. <laughs> so we want the head to be about there. It's where to put the picture, isn't it, when you're uh, painting? It's where can you put it so you can see it okay? Well, I can see that okay, I'm holding it. <laughs> so we've got the head going like that. The overall length is that. That's including the tail. So anyway, and sort of goes around like that. Yeah, that's kind of straightish. And then it goes down. And then across. It's got a quite a round belly. This is a mature platy, obviously, <laughs> since it had babies. And then, uh, that, then that. I think that would go to about there. We'll check these uh, as we go. Check everything. <laughs> we could do that because we have this. So that part needs to be more like there. So we can just wash it away a little bit. Get the old paper. Just wash that away a bit. And then the belly. Belly is about that. And the tail. 
tail, measuring the tail. Then the uh, tail which goes something like that, and that fin got there, got a fin here. <laughs> it's absolutely drenching it down outside, absolutely drenching it down. That fin there, that fin there. This is the fin you look for in the platy find out if it's male or female, the anal fin. If you didn't know that one, now you do, now you're an expert. <laughs> I used to keep fish when I was a kid actually. And I, I used to read all the books about it. But when you start working and stuff you uh, you run out of time and things for your hobbies well you just don't prioritize them as much because you've got to go to work and do stuff <laughs> and uh, all right so what I'm doing so I'm making myself a color. Uh, for the background, so I'm getting some of the yellow ochre, some of the black, some more like yellow, a bit of brown, just making it a sort of dull green. And then I can start looking at the uh, overall shape again. <laughs> What I could do if it's a measure. Measure the uh, oops. About right. About right. We've got quite a few chances to get this right, really, because when we go into the gouache, uh, then we've got another chance to get it right. <laughs> so I don't really worry about it, because I know I can get it eventually, even if it takes me ages. We don't want to worry, we want to enjoy the painting. goes to about there and then that goes like that and then that goes down like that just thinking this shape might need to be a bit more like that so it comes down like that and then round Well, uh, we'll keep working on it. <laughs> Getting to 
a bit more of the green just for a bit of green in the mix let's get the uh, grab a bit of yellow and green just grabbing some yellow and green just changing the flavor up a little bit Throwing a bit more of the brown into my colour just to dull it really. Not sure whether I'll paint these indications of them in or not. I might just do them on another episode. I quite like the way this is uh, becoming just a the single fish kind of portrait. A bit of a drink of uh, the old <sighs> hot chocolate. Got to treat yourself. <laughs> That's my idea of a treat. <laughs> hot chocolate. <laughs> Love a hot chocolate. Um, so I'm just throwing in a bit of the black into this. Green. What's that? Um, yeah, a bit brown. Let's go with this. Maybe a bit of the yellow. And we'll throw that in. A bit here. So if you get a bit of water in your colour, it, it all sort of melts together. Which is fun. Which is fun. You can do that. The burnt sienna in there. I'm uh, just going with the flow, really. I gotta admit, I'm uh, just looking and thinking, oh, it'd be nice to have a bit of that in there just to change it up a little bit, a bit more of that burnt sienna. That'll work quite nice there. bit of the uh, it's a bit of a red in this so you don't have to copy what's in the photo when you're painting you can start throwing in color that's not even there <laughs> and it might improve the painting it might make it better might make it worse, but it might make it better. <laughs> Got to risk it, don't you? Risk it. So I think I need to go and then in one smooth stroke to get this to uh, work. I might just do that. Because that needs to go. That needs to go. Tricky, isn't it? Tricky. Uh, I'm gonna make making a dark, making a dark. Go for some blue and with a this brown. Blue and brown, blue and brown. That's nice. So I want it to the blue rather than the, to the brown for the fish. So, I might dry that off first. Okay, so I've given that a bit of a drying off. And then we'll carry on. Try and get this looking right. 
So it kind of goes... There's the eyes there, around there anyway. That goes... The eyes about there. I think. Maybe a bit further. <laughs> the eyes about there. And then there. Uh, might, might be right there. It might need to be more like there. So that goes there, and this goes on here. It's got a nice, nice shape to it. This nice pan to this fish. I like it. Be interesting to see what the fry come out like. Actually, I hope they have black masks. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Something like that. Now I need sort of a, I need a light blue. Throw in like that, I need some white in it, otherwise it's not really gonna show much. Let's try that. So we've got this blue. It's not quite that bright blue, I don't think. Just throw a little bit of yellow into it. Some more white and a bit of yellow and see, what, see how it looks when it dries because it always changes slightly. So I'm just putting little uh, marks on, just indications of scales. <laughs> Don't mean to do that. Works quite well actually, just to uh, dot a bit on and then smudge it a bit. What I could do with is a bit of uh, cerulean blue I think. I'm not sure actually, I think this might work. Just throwing some light areas in with it. Indication of scales. <laughs>
So I always use um, a little bit of the white because I find, when I used to use watercolours, I mean, I still do it sometimes, is I didn't, don't use any uh, gouache, I just use watercolours. But when I do that, I tend to use white paper. And then uh, you mask out your whites. But if you were doing it like this, well, it's more of a mixed media technique. So I've got some white and a bit of yellow for this eye. I want to get this in. Too bad. Lay off. <laughs> off. So some of that should fade a little bit, so it should look a bit more natural. I'm going to get some burnt sienna, just the dirty brush, and uh, bring some of it into here. too bad actually. More of the burnt sienna. Maybe in here. As you can see it, it gets quite Trying to get that nice curve there of the body, body of the fish, it's got a nice curve there. A bit more pigment. You see what white does when you use it, um, it takes away the strength of the pigment. What I'm doing, I'm using some dirty colour in with the white, and it'll probably be about that colour. So I can put that on just sort of like this, little sort of bubbles almost. <laughs> my leg I'm sat cross-legged on the floor and uh, gotta be honest my leg just started to fall asleep <laughs> and it's gonna be hard to get up so I better move my leg I try and do a lot of painting on the floor actually because I don't sit on the floor very often and uh, I think it's probably uh, good for you <laughs> Need to uh, dull that a bit more. Maybe take some of it out like that. Might work a bit better. And that same light, I could do that on the top here. On the top of that fish, it's got light hitting it. Okay. Did 
put all this down here. Need some more of this yellow. I might start um start putting in the colours for this. Just putting in some colour in there for the the fin one as well. And then that one. Trying to get the shape a bit closer. I think uh, the next bit would be to darken the, uh, the black areas a bit more. Call it charging the colour attack. I always just think of it as attacking, mm -hmm. attacking with colour. I'll do uh, do it in dots because then we're doing it almost like scales. create the effect. It might look more like scales. It's a bit of a mark that I didn't put in. That needs a bit more of the brown, like the burnt umber, in amongst it, I think. That's the only thing with the black, it does tend to look um, just boring. <laughs> That's why people try to avoid using black, because it looks boring. I'm going to graze you all your colours. So I could do with uh, putting a bit of colour in here. Got a bit of water, extra water there, just to mix that in. So, what do we do now? Still want a bit more of the. Put a bit of sienna there, and there, underneath.
Put a bit of umber under there as well. And we want to lighten this. Damn. <laughs> Emergency repair. We've opened up a, a, uh, <laughs> a leak of white from the eye now. That was the disaster. Oh well. So let's put some more light in from the top. I'm gonna get some, just some white. I might put a little bit of blue in it. Just a tiny bit of blue and white. I'm gonna start putting some light in here. some glint now. And of course it's up to you on how much of that you want to do. I'm going to get into a little bit of the blue. I'm going to create this. Here. And this one. Something like that. Get a bit of yellow into my white and I'll just do a little bit on this fin here. And then this one. Something like that. <laughs> See, like some little bluey dots on there as well. I mean, you can really go for this. <laughs> a green bit there and there. And it's almost bits of a uh, reddish colour in it as well. Around this area I could see bits of all red. something and then uh, kind of make it vanish a little bit. Okay, quite like that. Gonna put a few little dots in the water.
And what else do I need? I need to uh, maybe a bit of yellow and burnt sienna. Just to get that, and then uh, that in the water, background leaves, Dark and pick up some of this to make that a bit more transparent. Okay, I'm just going to let that dry a bit now. Okay, now it's dried off a bit. I can uh, fix this eye area. Actually, want a bigger, bigger spot. I need a bigger black spot in that eye, <laughs> which is going to be a challenge. Probably do it. Uh, this needs to be more in line with that. With, uh, it's not thin. I'm going to lighten it a bit there. Just to uh, bring that thin out a bit. I might do the same with this one and this one. Drying. I just want to uh, lighten up here a bit. more 
lighter spots. wait for this to dry again <laughs> and then this should dry nicely around there and then uh, probably I'll call this one after because we you can you can go forever can't you but hopefully this gives you an idea of how to get going <laughs> if you uh, want to paint one of your fish or I'll have a go at this. Gives you an idea. I just want to put a bit more of this yellow in here. Because the transparency, of course, of the fin is to show what's behind it. Okay, I'll just dry this. Okay, that's uh, dried that quite a bit. I want to uh, add a little bit more burnt sienna here. And under here. Adding a bit more of the or a colour. Need a bit more of that light just to uh Okay. Just wanted to change things a little bit there. Go a bit darker. Okay, thanks very much for watching this episode, and I will see you at another one. Jason Bowen, aged 10. <laughs>